The three most frightening words a student could hear were, bring your mother. It was the equivalent of a death warrant. You pleaded, you cried, you invented heart-rending excuses. My mother can't come. She's sick. She can't climb stairs. She's dying. I'm an orphan. I live all by myself. Bring my father. He died four years before I was born. He can't come. He works in Alaska. He comes home only on Saturdays. What did I do? Tell me. I'll never do it again. I never did it before, so I'll never do it again. Sam Levinson The school system has a way of turning nice, middle-class conformists into raging wackos. No one is immune. One moment you'll be routinely filling out your request for an order request form, and the next moment you'll be trying to eat the chalk tray. So pay attention to these clues that suggest you may be losing your grip. You read over old administrative memos looking for insights into the meaning of life. You suddenly begin to savor the coffee in the school cafeteria. You throw caution to the wind and request two staplers in one semester. Art Peterson Do you know the difference between education and experience? Education is what you get when you read the fine print. Experience is what you get when you don't. Pete Seeger A country school board was interviewing a potential teacher. In questioning him, one board member asked whether the earth was round or flat. The teacher didn't bat an eye. I don't know how you people feel about it, he said, but I can teach it either way. Anonymous Teachers not only perform vitally important functions in our society, they are also great straight men. Are your mother and father in? asked one instructor when a small boy opened the door. Well, said the boy, they was in, but they is out now. They was in, they is out, said the shocked teacher. Where is your grammar? Oh, said the boy, she's upstairs taking a bath. Steve Allen Every day during summer school, the children tried a different kind of meat, and their teacher asked them to identify it. On a particular day, deer meat was served. No one could guess what it was. Finally, the teacher told her class, Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's what your mother sometimes calls your father. Gerald jumped up from his seat and shouted, Don't eat it! Don't eat it! It's jackass! Larry Wilde. Here's what really bugs me. Teachers who give assignments like, what I did on my summer vacation. What if you didn't have a vacation? What if you had a lemonade stand and worked all summer? And what if you only made four bucks and some change, and the lemons and sugar and cardboard for the stand cost much more than you made, plus $2.60 for a broken punch bowl? Would I want to write about this horrible experience? I don't think so. Jane Wagner On the first day of college, the dean addressed the new students explaining some of the campus rules. The female dormitory will be out of bounds for all male students, and the male dormitory out of bounds to the female students. Anybody caught breaking this rule will be fined $50 the first time. Anybody caught breaking this rule the second time will be fined $100. Being caught a third time will cost $200. Are there any questions? One student yelled out, How much for a season pass? Anonymous. I will never forget my first day of school. My mom woke me up, got me dressed, made my bed, and fed me. Man, did the guys in the dorm tease me. Michael Aronin Old teachers never die. They just grade away. Anonymous <laughs>